Mrs. Potts called, Oh, Belle. Belle was sitting in her bedroom, surrounded by a pile of books. There you are, Mrs. Potts cried. Hey, Belle, Mrs. Potts's son Chip N chimed in. Hello to both of you. Were you looking for me? Belle asked Mrs. Potts. As a matter of fact, I was Mrs. Potts told her. I was just stopping by to inquire as to whether or not you would like some tea. Thank you, Belle said. I would love some. Mrs. Potts poured Belle a piping hot cup of tea. Belle took a sip and thanked her. Mrs. Potts soon headed back to the kitchen, but Chip stayed behind. He wanted to play with Belle. How about a game of hide and seek? Belle asked the small teacup. How do you play that? Chip asked. It's simple, Belle said. One person hides and other tries find him. I can do that, Chip said. Of course you can, Belle told him. So, do you want to be the hider or the seeker? I want to be the hider, Chip told her. Okay, Belle said. I will close my eyes and count to ten. Chip took of darting behind cursions, just as Belle called. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Now, where could he be? Belle looked under the table. He isn't there, she said. Then she looked in the corner. He isn't there either, she. She looked high and low, but she couldn't seem to find Chip anywhere. I give up, Belle said. Come out, come out wherever you are. Chip silently giggled from behind the curtain. He was careful no to make too much noise. He was having fun. It seems that Chip doesn't want to come out from his hiding place. Seems that Chip doesn't want to come out from his hiding place, Belle said. I guess that mean. I will have to eat a slice of Mrs. Potts's chocolate cake all by myself. When he heard that, Chip jumped out from his hiding place and called out to Belle. Her I am, wait for me.